Hey, you have Patrick Fundar here, a co-founder at Vetted Biz. In today's episode, I'm going to go through some of the largest senior care franchises, home care franchises, essentially franchises where their objective is to help elderly clients with their tasks, whether that's medical or non-medical, it's going to depend on the franchise brand. So we're going to go through total unit count, payback period, median, investment amount, average unit volume for some of the largest senior care focused franchises currently up and running in the United States. We've got this data mostly from the franchise disclosure document from 2022 of these different brands and it's reporting on information collected in 2021. When the information was not clear, we provided some estimates including for average unit volume for the ones that did not report a very clear metric in the item 19 of that franchise disclosure document. So before I go into all the data and the information, this industry is booming. It's done very well in recent years, especially in, in, in certain markets in the Sunbelt states. The population reaching a age 65 has, has ballooned and it's almost double the approximate number in 20, 2012 and around 20% of the total US population. So it's a huge addressable market, almost 10,000 people on average turn 65 every day, and we'll be turning 65 every day for the next 20 plus years. The senior care industry is growing to meet this demand. And starting in 2018, American senior care business industry revenue has been growing at an annual rate of 3.3%. And I expect you to continue along this trajectory for, for the coming years. So there is no shortage of senior care franchises, but that's just because the market's huge. And there are some great players in the senior care uh, franchise space where their franchisees are making millions of dollars uh, a year. Uh, just because you invest in a franchise where the average franchisee makes over a million dollars does not mean that you're gonna be one of the mid-pack. You could be on the, the low end and, and make just a couple hundred dollars and, and barely scrape by. But that being said, if you get into a franchise system, the right senior care franchise, where the bell curve's pretty concentrated and most people are, you know, 80% are making around a million dollars. That's, I, I would be more comfortable with that than a franchise system where you have a couple franchisees making 5 million, 4 million, and you have a bunch of franchisees that are doing 800K, 200K, 300K, and it's kind of all over the place. The nice thing about investing in a franchise, depending on the brand, is that you know what you're signing up for and there's uniformity to the system. So these franchises help with anything from out of the ordinary transitional tasks, like random, but just chores that the seniors could have up to moving home, schedule organization, conducting estate sales. There's a new one, Blue Moon Estate Sales. That's a pretty interesting concept that is growing in the market. And that's just the last thing you wanna deal with when a loved one passed. And I can definitely see that franchise filling that void. Uh, but most of the franchises we're gonna go through today are non-medical uh, home care. So they're helping seniors with uh, different tasks they have uh, around the home and anything from, from cooking to doing laundry uh, and just it could be also changing changing clothes, et cetera. So going with the, the, the top ones, Home Instead has 600 plus locations, Visiting Angels 541 as of the end of 2021, Right at Home, Synergy Home Care, Bright Star Care, Interim, Senior Helpers, all in the 300 to 360 range. And then First Light Home Care starts to drop off 183 uh, locations, Assisting Hands Home Care 151, and then Touching Hearts Home 68. This is not an extensive list. There's other franchises that are, are great, like Karen, uh, a brand that I recently uh, interviewed, the head of development, as well as one of their franchisees, Golden Heart Senior Care, one heart there's other franchise options a better solution that have anywhere from you know five to 30 to 60 locations that have good solid financials but it's not part of the the top those giants that have been around potentially for for longer and have grown to generally over 100 locations franchise midpoint for those franchises i just list out um, on the low end touching hearts at home 62,000. And going up first at 150,000 and then interim healthcare at 429,000. That has a physical uh, build out part uh, of their offering. They have a few different models, interim healthcare. And then on the average unit volume, interim healthcare, it's kind of, you get what you pay for. The investment's 429,000. The average unit volume is 
uh, $66 million for interim healthcare. And then touching hearts home care at 62,000 to start, but the average unit volume is 565,000. So like the, the ones that are kind of really the outliers were those two, and then the rest fall in that 100 to 150,000 range. And the average unit volume is anywhere from one to 2.2 million, depending on the system with home instead after interim being the best at 2.2 million. And then Bright Star uh, Care just, just below them at $2.17 million in average unit volume. Now the franchise payback period, we estimate it's gonna take anywhere from 1.5 to four years to recoup your capital investment, depending on which of those franchise brands you invest in how you perform in an operator, as well as just the local market conditions for that senior care franchise. I hope you found this video informational. I do encourage you to take a look uh, at some of the listing profiles on Vetted Biz. You can dive more into the numbers, download the latest FDD, even get in contact with the franchisors on the, on the contact tab. There's a lot of benefits to being a Vetted member where you just have a lot more access to the data to decide on if the franchise brand's even worth reaching out and starting the process to, to validate the information with the franchise or with multiple franchisees, et cetera. Hope you found this informational. Let me know if there's a senior care franchise we left off the list that you think would be worth uh, potentially doing a franchise analysis review on. Thanks.